no freaking way oh my wow first video guys first video hello ladies and gentlemen i'm gonna this in today's video i'm gonna be opening two pokemon center exclusive obsidian flames elite trainer boxes this is the third expansion of the scarlet and violet era so Puppy. without further scooby ado let's get it all right guys so here we have it pokemon center exclusive obsidian flames elite trainer box there's the front of the box Top side, there's the side, the other side, and here's the back with the contents Raging Flames Forged in Darkness. There's the promo card, I'm gonna leave that for a second if you want to read it. But I'm gonna crack it open and show you all the contents anyway. So let me crack this open and I'll show you the contents. Here are the artworks on the packs from the sleeve of the big trainer box. There's Charizard, Terra Dragon Knight. Terra from Tyranitar and just a regular river route. Here's the inside of the Elite Trainer box. The Charmander. I love this one. With the Charmander and then the flames behind him. There's the top. The sides with just a little piece of it. And there's the back. Alright, contents from the inside. Here's the sleeve. Did the back come out? Nope. Alright, so. Here's the sleeves. I love these sleeves. I love these sleeves. Only there's only one thing about these sleeves that lay it down. Of course, it's frosted. Can't they just go back to clear? But these sleeves are actually so beautiful. I love these sleeves. I love these sleeves. So that's the sleeves. Here's your code card for the late trainer box. Probably get the promos from it. Your deck dividers. These are some clean deck dividers. I love these deck devices. Look at that. Charming at the front and the flames at the back. That is a cool deck divider. So that's the deck dividers. Condition markers, your poison and your fire. Condition marker burn. Condition markers. Damage counters and dice. So the only difference now that they do, I think in the Scarlet and Violet era, is um, the actual dice itself. The damage counters are always the same. This teal grey colour. And then this one with the EX. And then it should be 11 packs from the Pokemon Center one. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Perfect. And here are your four pack artworks. The Terra Charizard. River Room. Terra Dragonite. And Terra Tyranitar. Here's the player's guide. Should be the same for all of them. A little bit of explanations and some of the cards in the set. And then what we're actually looking for is this part, the actual um, set list itself. So there's frost types, so fire, water, electric, and then psychic, fighting, fighting, um, darkness, metal, and then normal. Is it normal touch? Shall I say normal colorless? Not colorless, I guess. And then three art rares starting from there. That gloom is nice. The nine tails is nice. Here we go. All of these art rares in this set actually are really nice. I say that with every set to be honest. All the art rares now are really, really nice. I don't think there's that many special illustration rares and stuff in this one now. Like pull ups as well. So I just want this one's just a small set. The main chase, I guess, is that Charizard. My actual main chase is this, the Hound Do, the Hound Dao, Hound Dao Art Rare. That's my main chase right there. And then going to the back, here's the support trainer special art rares, special illustration rares, and then the gold cards, the Charizard Artisan Fire Energy. And that's the trainer guide, and probably the best part of the. Elite Trainer Box itself is this Charmander promo card. So the left side is the Pokemon Center one, and the right side is the regular one. For the Pokemon Center and Elite Trainer, regular Elite Trainer Box, you get a Pokemon Center stamped one from the Pokemon Center exclusive ones, and then a regular one from the regular Elite Trainer Boxes. But this is such a cool Art Rare promo card for Charmander. There's a Pidgey. I don't know if the reflection is going There we go. Should be able to see it. There's a Pidgey on the outside and the Charmander's just, Charmander's just mad. 
not he wants to get out and have some fun himself but yep that's the promos all right so i've opened up the second etb here's the code part from that i'm about purple scooby i do let's get it all right guys before i start ripping into these packs if you enjoy my videos and you haven't already i'd appreciate if you could leave a like subscribe turn notifications on for more when i reach 500 subscribers i'll be doing a giveaway for the most recent elite trainer box as of hitting 500 subscribers so without further scooby ado let's get it all right guys i've got the full charmander setup t-shirt charmander on the front there and just looking at it now i'm not feeling this charmander beanie but just to kind of you know go with the theme charmander Elite trainer box, which I'm gonna set, Charizard set. But yeah, um, yeah, I don't like the hat to be honest, but I'm gonna go with it. Alright, so starting things off with the first pack. And I bet you any money wearing this whole oh, get up isn't even gonna help me with my luck. So let's see, we've got an Oddish, Swablu, Limit, Padbo. I'm gonna go a bit slower as well just to appreciate some of the artwork. Pidgeotto, nice. Going back to Gen 1. Juggling there. Another Gen 1. Oma Rouge. The noon. Yahoo! Ooh, first pack magic. We got a Palafin, not rare. Nice. I like that. I like that. I love how symmetric this card is as well. So that's a Palafin. Nice, nice. Ente Holo. Alright, so first pack magic on the first ETP. Nice, nice, nice. That's an art rare, but I'll take it. Obsidian Flames, I've been looking forward to this set. Charizard, of course. But all of the other cards have looked nice as well, so I don't... So, the whole set in general. All the artworks are looking looking nice. The Pokemon that included. Yeah, this set is actually looking good. My wow. G, nothing in this one. Nope, it's got villain. And because this set is so, like... There's not that many. It's like just a single set from the Japanese. It's basically a one to one with the Japanese with I think maybe a few add-ons. Um it should be an easy set, master set. Should be an easy set. Up load, is it doing? Cypher, King Ambit, Ankle Lone, Letter of Encouragement, Young Goose, Dragonal, Elephant. This may well be the first master set of Scarlet and Violet I do since it's gonna be easy. It'd be much easier if I can pull the top cards. I guess there's only one top card or one expensive card. Maybe two. Which is the Charizard and the... Uh, um, the two Charizards. The gold one and the uh, special art rare. Special art rare Charizard. A Vulch. Yeah, if I pull those two within the amount of packs that I'm going to open. Then it will make the Master Set that much easier. And I'll probably just end up Master Setting this set ASAP. Before going into any other sets. I guess maybe spend most of my money here quickly to just master set it quickly and then go into 151 but 151 being more or less one month away oh, right. yeah 151 being one month away I'm thinking if I should focus all of my energy on that or since this is an easy set focus all of my energy on this just to master set it, master set it ASAP I don't know yet I don't know I think there's something in this one it's not. Nope. So just about halfway through the first Elite Trainer Unbox, then we've only got one AR to show for it. Oh, normally as well, um, Pokemon Center Elite Trainer Unboxes, I get a decent hit, a good hit out of each box. Is this going to be my first dud one? Is this going to be my first dud one? Alamar, Handawa, nice. Ponzo. Ooh, there's a nice hit. I ran out of EX Terraform. That's a decent hit. I don't mind that. So this one's a textured one because it's a terraform. Nice. Tyranitar is one of my I think Tyranitar is Gen 2, right? Or was it Gen 3? I don't remember. Tyranitar was Gen 2, right? Or was it Gen 1? No, it was Gen it was Gen 2, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, not bad. I guess an AR and a Terraform EX so far is not too bad. What was that saying? Yeah, um, Pokemon Sun Early Trainer Boxes have generally been good to me. This one's not looking that great, but I've, I think I've pulled at least a full art in each Elite Trainer Box from the Pokemon Center before. And this one, maybe not. So three packs left on the first one, and we've only got two pulls. 
Hmm. A terraform EX. And a palafin EX. Not bad, not bad to be honest. Bad ball. Chunk. Bad ball. Chunk. Oh well. Buffalon. I hate that name. Abominable. Weasel. Glimmer. And a decidua EX. So that's three hits. Not bad, not bad. Can we get two more hits or oh, another hit from the last three remaining packs from the first eight trainer box? Three hits, one terror for me. X, not bad, not bad. I'll take it, I'll take it. Odino, Charmander, and there we go. There's our first Charmander. Or oh, have I skipped through any? I don't think so. This is the first Charmander we've seen matching the beanie and the t shirt. Odish, Gold School, Soul Rock, Sapphire, Rock Rock, Belly Bolt, Thunderous. There's a Pidgey and Pidgeotto. And Pidgeot line in this that throws back to the I think original red and blue games where the routes that you can catch them in. Those art books are nice, I like those. Meltan, Chop Dip, Ponyard, Lily Pop, Chan Lure, Trope, Blossom, Buffalo, Countries. Oh, there we go. See? But always just a Glimora EX. Just but basically looks like a bloody flower with eyes. It's a full out hit. Nice, so I guess Pokemon Center Elite Trainer Boxes haven't really let me down. There we go. Alright guys, so before we move on to the second Elite Trainer Box, if you made it this far and you're currently enjoying the video, I'd appreciate if you could leave a like, subscribe, turn notifications on for more. When we reach 500 subscribers, I'll be doing a giveaway for the most recent Elite Trainer Box at the time of me hitting 500 subscribers. So without further ado, do, let's get into the rest of the video. Alright guys, so moving on to the second one now. Second one, second one, second one. Are we going to do any better? From what I can remember, in my Paldea Evolved Pokemon Center Elite Trainer Boxes, it was kind of mapped, or should I say, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, shit, what was the word I'm looking for? Basically the hits kind of were the same, Reverse Trauma Denias, Float to Wondrous. Batched, that's what I was looking for. It seemed like the case because I buy these in cases from the Pokemon Center. You can buy a case of them, and you get four elite trainer boxes per case. And it seems like in all of my how they have old ones, I got the same hits, give or take maybe one or more cards. So, if true, this next elite trainer box, I should get an art rare. An EX or two EXs, two EXs, and a full up, hopefully. If what I'm thinking holds true, maybe not. If that's the case, I hope so. In some ways, Pidgeotto, Fungoose, or oh, Fungoose, yeah, Houndour, Oxygen. I've still got some powder available to actually record and open as well. I've been holding off, I've been, as you see now, I haven't uploaded in like a month and a half, probably, maybe more. Um, I was waiting for this to come out. I was gonna do the power day level first, but I've been on vacation as well, so I'm gonna do that. And coming back, I've just come back from vacation to record this as well. So. No friggin' way. Oh my. Wow. First video, guys. First video. Second Elite Trainer Box, and I've already pulled the number one. Woo hoo hoo! Wow, and this looks clean. What would be the best right now is, I hope, I hope, nope. Oh no, it's not grade worthy. It's not the back is. You can see already the whitening at the bottom. The corners are a little bit messed up. The front though, the, the actual centering looks perfect. Centering looks absolutely perfect, but just the back. Damn it! I mean, this is going into my binder straight up anyway. But oh my days, guys! Um, how many packs in? One, two, three, four, five, four packs in on the second ETB, and I've already pulled the big boy, the big boy. Oh my days! Oh my days! Already pulled the big boy. I told you guys, my Pokemon Center lock is mostly there, but I feel like. I've seen a couple of videos already as well. I feel like this card, more so the gold one. The gold one seems like an easier pull. 
but this one also seems easier so i'm guessing pull rates or just because the fact that there's not as many it's just a basic one one set and you and there's only what six damn it stay still cypher Yahoo! wow another one this clear for artwork this ar is so nice back to back hits nice ar right there this clever is really nice this clever is really really nice I forgot what I was saying now because of that clever as well. Um, what was I saying? ETBs. Oh, uh, yeah, no, I was saying that the set. There's only what six special illustration rares in this. So pulling that Charizard is going to be a bit easier than usual. But I mean, going from Scarlet and Violet Arrow, um, the first two sets, in terms of ETBs and everything else, it didn't seem that great. Mostly, oh my god, nice. Red Knight EX, Terraform. Yes, I'll take that. The only bummer is they didn't do a full-out version of Dragon Knight. Why? I'm guessing it's going to be a promo. Maybe. Or in the next set. But only the Dragon Knight turret EX alone. They should have done a special illustration rare. Special illustration rare. Or the full-out at least of this. But they didn't. Alright, just about halfway through the next one now. Alright, so we got an art rare we've got a terraform ex that charizard might have replaced the full art instead so we should be looking at another ex maybe or even still a full art but that special illustration rare was a lucky on top available yeah so if what i think holds true let's see could be getting it and then I'm going to be opening another one of these um, versus a regular trainer box to see which one's going to do better than that. Also going to be opening some um, Pokemon. For Paldea evolved and regular and base set Scarlet. I skipped. Actually, wait. In Scarlet and Violet, I think I did do the uh, what it was. Push the bundles, but I didn't do the sleeves. And then Paldea evolved, I completely skipped them. I did everything but those two. Because I feel like it was it was a waste. Might as well do boost the box. Oh nice. Hound Dora into Hound Doom. I might start collecting these. Obviously my two favourite Pokemon. I might actually start collecting like the commons and uncommons for these two. And go back and even collect the rest of the old ones, which could be expensive, but I might do that. Hound Doom, Ramble, Alamar, Jomandor, Bonsley. Yeah, so in one of the videos I'm going to be doing like a battle against the booster bundles and the sleeve boosters just for obsidian flames. The only reason I'm doing it is because of obsidian flames. How they evolved, I wanted to skip because I feel like those are not worth it. Booster bundles and sleeve boosters, I don't think they're worth it. If anything, um, booster bosses are the best way. To, the best way. I mean, I guess even the Pokemon Center will be fine. We pulled two SARs, SIRs, SIRs in this elite trainer. Oh my days, wow. We've got the Poppy. I mean, Gita would have been better, but we've got the Poppy SIR now and the Palafin. Right, last pack, guys, last pack. That Poppy is off, cent off center as fuck. That Poppy is absolutely pop. Oh. Two SIRs. Two SIRs in one elite trainer box. That is sick. Imagine that was another Charizard. Oh. Or even the gold one. That would have been sick. That would have been sick. I think the top SIRs are the Charizard and the Gita. I believe so. Yeah, the Charizard and the Gita. Yahoo! This one Pokemon Center elite trainer box gave me everything that I wanted, apart from one card. I didn't mention it, but this Lavita, I love, I love Lavita as well. I love the whole Lavita, Pupita, Tyranitar line. But this Lavita is, is that poop that it's eating, or is that rocks? Is it eating it, or is it? Yeah, it's eating it, right? Is that poop, or is that rocks? Anyway. Oh, maybe there was a fallout behind that, but no. Alright, guys, so here are the hits from the two Elite Trainer boxes, Bomb Center exclusive. 
so these are from the first elite trainer box so we've got an art rare palafin tyranite ex decidual ex and a full art glimora not too bad four hits out of 11 packs one full art one terraform and an ar these are i would say common they're more like these which are guaranteed to pull most cases but and then our second box this this was insane charizard number one card pulled right there two art rares another sir in the poppy and then a terraform dragonite ex as well wow five hits out of 11 packs that's almost half but two of them being sirs oh my days this is probably the best pokemon center or even elite trainer box that i've ever opened up hands down wow anyway guys that was two pokemon center exclusive obsidian flames elite trainer boxes if you enjoyed the video if you stuck with me to the end, I'd appreciate if you could leave a like, subscribe, turn notifications on for more. When we reach 500 subscribers, I'll be doing a giveaway for the most recent Leak Trainer Box. As of the time that I hit 500 subscribers. Thank you for watching. See you on the next one.